what do you do when doubt shows up? The Bible says, and we walk by faith and not by sight. And it's the job of doubt to get you to discredit who God is. It's the job of doubt to get you to not to rely on God. But when doubt shows up, you've got to declare the word of God. For the Bible says that faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So it doesn't matter if doubt shows up in my life. What did God say? So how do I continue to walk by faith? I got to continue to get into my word and allow the word to build my faith because it's the word of God that grounds us in who he is. It's the word of God that reminds us of what he can do. It's the word of God that anchors us in our faith. And this is why the enemy stops you from getting into your word. This is why the enemy makes you fall asleep, makes you not want to grab hold to the word because he understands that when you attach yourself to the word, you attach yourself to faith because faith is trust and reliance and confidence in God. So when doubt shows up, you've got to tear doubt down with the word of God. And this is why the enemy plants seeds of doubts in our mind. And this is why you got to cast down every high thing that would exalt itself against the knowledge of God because the enemy understands that if you allow doubt to live, then doubt will eat away at your faith like a termite. But once you are confident and sure that you understand, I'm going to walk by faith. And me walking by faith means I get into my word and I read it. I get into my prayer and I pray. Come on, I get into my word and I seek his face. Why? Because I'm not going off of what I see. I'm going off of what he said. So when doubt shows up, replace it with the word of God. When doubt shows up, get into your prayer time. Come on and begin to declare what the word of God says. When doubt shows up, come on, you've got to understand that just because it showed up doesn't mean that I'm going to be moved by it. Why? Because I understand that doubt is just the indication that it comes to rob me out of what I believe. But I'm fully persuaded of what and whom I believe. And so you walk by faith, by walking in the confidence of who he is. And does it matter what's going on around me? I trust him and I learn how to trust him because I've spent time with him. And because I spent time with him in prayer, I got a chance to know him. And so I know his character. I know how he moves. I know he's the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. So doubt has no place here because I believe. God. Doubt has no place here because I understand that every day that I wake up, it's an opportunity for God to show himself strong and mighty. So when doubt shows up, replace it with the word of God. When doubt shows up, don't be moved, come on, by the purpose of doubt, but be moved by what God said concerning you because what God said is greater than what's opposing you. What God said is greater than the doubt that shows up in your life.